Hey folks, how's it going? This is Joey and uh, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make your very own 20th Century Fox logo just like the one you just saw in the beginning of this video. Now a lot of people think it's very hard to do and let me tell you it's a lot easier than it looks, okay? A lot of people think that there's some really deep uh, ninja secret type of thing behind the, the scenes but it's not. It's actually done very easily uh, with some uh, with a software that's provided for you right here and you could get absolutely free okay so let's go ahead and proceed and show you how to turn this into this okay so the first thing that you need to do is download the, the, the zip file that I have for you here which has all the files that you need and the software okay and if you're already on my blog and you're reading this or seeing this on uh, this video on my blog all you gotta do is go right there where it says download zip file uh, click on it and, and download the file. If you're seeing this video on YouTube or any other video, then, then the download downloadable uh, link it's on the it's it's on the description. Okay, so all you gotta do is just click on it. A window pop up. Save it into whatever folder you want. I already have it saved there, and just click on save. All right. So once you're done downloading the zip file. Go ahead and extract that zip file and uh, you'll be able to see four uh, files just like this, okay? And right here I have provided for you a PDF step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to do this, uh, what I'm showing you right now, okay? Right here you have the, the Blender software that you need to install. Right here you have an audio that I have provided for you, but again you can use whatever you want, whatever audio, but we'll go into further details on that later. And right here you have the actual script that you're going to need to uh, uh, to actually edit the, the logo, okay? So why don't you go ahead and install this. I'm not going to go ahead and install it because I already have it installed. But just follow all directions. It's very simple, okay? It's absolutely free, so don't worry about it. Uh, install it, and once you're done installing it, we're going to go ahead and proceed, okay? So once installed, all right, don't do anything else, okay? All you got to do is come back to your folder where you have all these files, okay? And, and double click on this Edit Fox logo. So after you double click on the icon, this window is going to pop up. And this is the actual Blender software that you're going to be using to edit your logo, okay? And this 20th Century Fox logo that you see here, this is the actual script that you just clicked on, all right? So pretty much, this baby is ready to roll, it's ready for you to edit, okay? So let's just go ahead and start doing that, all right? So the first thing you want to do is hover over the number 20 here, all right? And right click on your mouse. Okay, just once. Now you notice that the only thing that's highlighted is number 20. All right, that's what you want. So uh, what, what we want to do here is make that disappear. So you're going to click on the delete key on your keyboard once and click on enter once. All right, that makes it disappear. All right, so the second thing you want to do is go right here to the, the, the text right here where it says TH and do the same thing. Right click on it to highlight it. All right. Now this is the part that you want to edit. All right. And to edit it, all you got to do is click on the tab key on your keyboard. Just click on it once. All right. Now you see that the highlight went away, and you see this little highlighted shadow in the background. Okay, that's good. All right. So uh, why don't you go ahead and and, and delete those uh, those those text by clicking on the backspace. Okay. Now pretty much here you can write whatever word you want. All right. So right here I'm going to put JFK picks. Okay, that's the only thing I'm going to do here. Now you notice it's out of a line, okay guys? Don't worry about it. We're going to fix that later, okay? So once you're done writing whatever word you want, all right? Uh, click on the tab key again to get out of it, all right? Now you want to edit uh, the sentry, the second row right here. And what you do is you go ahead and right click on the mouse to get that part highlighted, all right? And to edit this, again, just click on the tab key. Just click on it once, all right? All right, here you're going to backspace to delete those texts, and you're going to write the, your second word, whatever you want, okay? I think I put video, okay? And that's pretty much it. Click on the tab key again. Once you're done uh, writing whatever you're going to write, okay? And uh, then right here, you're going to edit the third row. Okay, and you're gonna do the exact same thing, hover over it and right click. And then again, of course, tab to edit. Backspace to delete. And you're gonna write your your your, your next tutorials. Alright? 
click on tab when you're done. All right? So that's pretty much it. But see, it looks ugly, don't it? It looks really ugly. But we're going to fix that right now, okay? So we're ready for the next step. Well, right now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and center everything and size it up and make it, make it look really nice. All right, so what you're going to do next here, okay, is just scroll all the way down here to uh, the bottom of this logo, and I want you to notice these four images here, okay? Uh, you're going to see a hand, you're going to see a triangle, a circle, and a square. Well, the only thing you guys are ever, ever going to use with this software is the triangle and the square. That is it. Don't worry about what the other buttons do. I don't even know, but this is the only thing that you're going to use, okay? So let me go ahead and, and uh, show you what this does, okay? The triangle, what this does, it moves the image, the whole text, up and down and side to side so you can go ahead and center it, all right? And the square, what this does, it sizes the text, okay? So what you want to do first is center every word, okay, or every row that you just did. So let's go ahead and start centering. And you want to start with the first one up here, okay, just by highlighting. Remember, guys, to highlight it, always right-click on your mouse, okay? And you're going to see these little uh, triangles right here, okay? What you want to do here is left-click on your mouse, okay, and hold it. All right, and what you're going to do is drag your mouse and you're going to see this, okay? You see how it just moves side to side, okay? And what you want to do is center it, all right? And I'll show you how you center it. You see this little circle right here? This is actually the center of that text or that image, all right? So you want to center this uh, little square here, that circle, with this blue line right here. You see the arrow? You want to align that right there and center it. So we're going to go ahead and do that and try to center it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Let go of it. And just a little bit more. And a little bit more. Okay. That's good. It's pretty good. Okay. Now that's all you need to do. If you want to move the image up and down, you just do the same thing. You go up here and you move it up and down. But I like to just leave it right there where it's at. And then you do the same thing for the second row. Line it up here, try to center it. That looks pretty good. And do the same thing, okay? Right click and then left click on this and try to center it as best as you can, okay? So everything's centered, so now it's time to resize the text. So you're gonna go down here, press on that uh, blue uh, square, and you're gonna see these squares move, okay?